I pretty much went from high school to flight school. I got my private license with Silver State Helicopters. There was a long gap in between my training, maybe eight to 10 months. And then I scrambled around for financing to be able to continue my flight training at a different flight school. And I completed my commercial instrument, flight instructor and flight instructor instrument with Florida Helicopters. Then I slowly was able to start working as a flight instructor for Florida Helicopters. After that, I was then lucky to start doing some ferry flights for some of the aircraft sales companies. I eventually had the opportunity to do some electronic news gathering until there was a position open here at Air Rescue. And as soon as I heard that there was a position open here at Air Rescue, I knew it was the perfect position for me. So then I went to EMT school and Fire Academy in pursuit of this position. The advice I would offer to young women that are interested in pursuing this profession is don't stop. There's going to be a lot of obstacles, a lot of things that are going to try to get in your way. It doesn't matter what the obstacle is, you need to push through it every single time until you get to where you want to be. It's an amazing feeling to set a goal that seems pretty high and to actually achieve it. I encourage everybody to set high goals. There's nothing like the feeling after you've achieved it. I'm Kaylin Hargis and I work for Miami-Dade Air Rescue.